It just doesn't make sense. All of these strange occurrences just aren't adding up. But you know what? Maybe Onyx doesn't have any involvement. I mean, he's hardly here anyway, given his career and the movies and stuff, but maybe somebody is using that to their advantage. Oh, Roxy, you're starting to sound crazy. Okay, look, um... I need to focus on the rest of the evening. Uh, I need to make dinner for Gregory. Oh, I should also start taking that trash out. It is starting to stink. So let me go do that. I guess Onyx did say not to go into the garage. But, but why? <laughs> I mean, Gregory and I quite literally already went in there. and It's not like there was anything weird. Maybe it wouldn't hurt if I just took another peek. <laughs> um, eye lights enable. Alright, um, I mean, it's just empty. Aside from the weird chemical smell. <clears throat> um, surely there has to be something in here if Onyx didn't want us to be in here, but... Maybe it was just because he cleaned it recently and it smells... Awfully, like, bleach? What? What is that, though? Um... That's surely not what I think it is. Right? I don't know. I'm just... I'm really trying to sense of everything, but I don't know, it just as much as I'm wanting this to get figured out, it kind of just feels like this conversation isn't going anywhere and I want it to, it's not like I, I don't want to make up, I just I don't know I want to make sure that if and when we do it, it's on both of our accords, you know? Yeah, I, I get that Um I'm all Maybe we should just stop trying so hard to agree on the situation. Maybe we should just try and do our best to move forward and move past it. Like, um, what's been going on with you lately? Y you know, aside from what's been happening with us. Yeah, maybe that is better. I mean, I just, I thought coming to the Pizza Flux would maybe spark some better conversation, you know? Like old times, yeah. um, but it doesn't seem to be helping the way that I thought it would. <sighs> to be honest, I, I don't know if I want to talk to you about everything that's happening. Like I told you, I, I don't want to get you involved, Cassie. This has been one of the roots of all of our problems. Well, just talking about it doesn't inherently make me involved. <sighs> I mean, you could at least vent if you want. It, I mean, it seems like something is bothering you an awful lot. Yeah, I just... Ever since moving to that house, there's been weird things happening. I, I, things that I can't explain, and things that Roxanne can't explain either. I, I haven't told her about some of them, but, but... We've been hearing things and seeing oh. things. Things that don't make sense doors are being left open when we're home alone and no one else is there or um things being put away in different places or showing up in different locations weird smells happening there was a day where roxanne and i heard something upstairs like a, a footstep or something and something scurried away and we couldn't figure out what it was and when we went upstairs the window was cracked open but we didn't know why oh i <sighs> the other day I saw someone in our house. It was like a shadow. I didn't know who it was, but they came out of our spare bedroom and ran outside and just disappeared. I thought it was Roxanne. I didn't I didn't even tell her. Well, that's terrifying, Gregory. I, are you sure you saw what you saw? I'm positive. At least I think. I don't know. 
Like I said, we've been so stressed about everything, which is why I'm still so angry about you kicking us out. I just... I wish that her mom and Roxanne could have just had a conversation about it. Yeah. Um. Me too. <sighs> uh, well, I I'm sorry about all that. Uh, is there anything I can do to help? Cassie, this is what I was worried about. I, I, I don't think you can or, or should help. Every single time I put myself into a dangerous situation, I get you involved and then something always ends up going wrong and you get hurt, whether it's physically, emotionally. Yeah, I, I guess you're right. It's just hard not to offer, you know? Yeah. Really appreciate it, but I mean, maybe it's best you just let Roxanne and I handle it, and you can keep hanging out with Tyler. You know, have a normal friendship. Maybe it would be good for you guys to get the police involved or something. <laughs> That's all I can really offer, as far as advice. Yeah. Um. Not to change the topic or anything, but I know it's not easy for you to see me hanging out with with Tyler, and maybe that's part of where we're still having this disconnect. Um... I don't know how honest I should be with you right now. Um. About what? Well. If I'm honest, Gregory. Tyler and I aren't together. And we haven't been. We've just been friends for a really long time. Or, well, maybe not as long as you and I. But we've been getting to know each other more and... I like the way he makes me feel. It, he's nice and caring, and he even was making me breakfast the other day, or was going to. It just... I guess what I'm trying to say is... I... I might actually have feelings for him. And I guess I just, if you and I are going to make things work and be friends, I, I guess that's something that I need you to be okay with, you know? Um, yeah. No, oh, for, for sure. Um, we are together anymore, Cassie, and that's something that I do need to try to respect. We we both need to have boundaries set. I've been talking with Roxanne and Friday about this a lot, and I know I haven't been the best friend lately, and I'm, I'm really sorry. But I promise I'm going to work as hard as I can to respect your decision, okay? Yeah. I appreciate that. Um. Okay. Yeah. Um. I think this was a good first step. I think so too. I'm glad we were able to talk. Me too. Um. It is getting pretty late though, so I'm probably gonna head home. Um. Are uh, you same. able to get a ride home? Yeah, I I should be able to. <laughs> okay. Um I'll see you at school or something? Yeah. I'll I'll see you at school. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, see ya. Oh, that actually went a lot better than I even thought it could, but Oh, Gregory, oh, there, there you are. are. Finally I've been waiting. Oh my oh, gosh. My. Thank goodness you're okay. Um Hi. Um good to see you. 
too. Yeah, I'm okay. I, I texted well, you that goodness. Cassie and I were going to oh, I had no time more. to look at my phone. It's been crazy this whole time, Gregory. You know, of all of the suspicious things that are going on? Um, yeah? Well, uh, I think it might be worse than we even thought. I, I don't know what it is we're dealing with. I'm worried that we made an awful mistake moving here, and I put my son in danger, potentially, and... Oh, I don't know what to do. Um... Oh, okay. Wait, so, calm down. What? What's going on? You seem really frantic okay, right now. Well, first and foremost, have you noticed anything strange uh, that you might not have um, t told me about? Um... I mean, there's been the the noises. Yeah, the noises. Uh huh. Uh -huh. The windows being left open every once in a while. But right, I mean, but yes. well, we talked about those. It was just probably you leaving the windows open and forgetting about them. Yes, or, Gregory. Uh, but you spend time here alone, just like I do. Was there anything else? Um, sometimes some of the doors are left open. Um, I hear a lot of house creaking. Uh, okay. The other day, when you left for work, I thought it was a prank, but now I'm starting to think maybe it, it wasn't. What? There was a, a shadow figure upstairs coming out of the, a the spare shadow bedroom. figure? I tried to confront it. I didn't know what to do. I, I thought you were pranking me, to be honest. I, I, But then it ran downstairs, and it kept staring at me and then it went into the backyard and just was gone and I haven't seen it since and I you hadn't said anything about anything so I just assumed maybe I was going crazy I don't think either of us are going crazy anymore not after what I found um, what did you find in the garage there may have been blood spots and um you know well i mean they're just red stains i i guess i'm not sure that they're blood spots um but th there were also old clothes and gregory just doesn't make sense with the chemical smell and everything else that we've been dealing with i'm just i feel like i'm starting to connect the dots to something that i didn't want to connect the dots to and what are you trying to say roxanne I'm worried that either Onyx or somebody connected to Onyx. Gregory, I think they might be connected to unsolved murders that have been happening here. What? 